Out of a clear blue sky on the morning commute, what we now know to be a meteor crashing to Earth. <laughs> It started with a small bright light in the sky that rapidly became a fireball. Recorded on this dashboard camera to the surreal backtrack of the car stereo. Light from the meteor lit up the sky as it passed overhead, racing to the ground at an estimated 33,000 miles per hour. These children were mid-lesson when the meteor hit. The force shattered windows, damaged buildings. Teachers led their children out into the snow away from the broken glass. In this office, the sheer force of the pressure wave knocks this man clean across the room. One man told Sky News the force of the blast woke him up. I was terrified. Um, I had just hit the snooze bar on my iPhone for another nine minutes of sleep. And all of a sudden, you know, I, I fell back asleep and I hear this loud bang. And I live in a 24-story building on the 23rd floor. And all of a sudden, I look up and the lights are shaking. And I hear car alarms going off. And uh, it was just incredible. In areas the power was cut and the mobile network went down, as local officials appealed for calm. Chelyabinsk was in the meteor shower zone. I think experts will provide more specific data later. I'd like to address the people living in our city and ask them to remain calm. The Ministry of Defence here says they had no operations in the region at the time and that they have dispatched a task force to identify crater sites. The Russian Academy of Sciences puts the size of the meteor at 10 tonnes, roughly similar to a double-decker bus. This is a pretty rare occurrence. Most meteors that we talk about actually completely burn up in the sky as shooting stars, as they're, as they're known. Um, the only one on hand that I can uh, point to that had similar sort of impact was in 1908 in Tunguska. So that gives you a sort of idea of, of how often these things actually happen. Um, so normally when we expect meteors, we, we ex just expect pretty things in the sky and not to actually have an impact and, and certainly not to cause injuries. Most of the injured were treated for cuts and bruises caused by shards of glass. But the emergency ministry said more than 80 children have been injured. Two adults are in intensive care. More than 20,000 rescue workers have been dispatched to the region to help.